Welcome back to Insights. Today we're going to learn how to discern the status of our nation before God. Amen, Blair. We need to do this so badly and I hardly ever hear this being talked about in the body of Christ. And the one thing that God has just showed me and opened my eyes to really through the scriptures mm -hmm. is it's like a lens. And let me put it this way, not bifocals, but trifocals. Like if you're wearing glasses, like, wow, we see this, see this, see this. Right. Oh my gosh, I can see what's going on in any nation. Now we're going to focus whether, maybe not on this video, but the next one, what's going on in our nation. But here is that trifocal lens to look through, okay? The first area is the government. Is the government in line with God's will and ways or even though we don't live in a theocracy, mm -hmm. but do the laws in general uh, reflect God's heart, okay? Or are they in contradiction? Right. Secondly, how about the people? Are the people excited about following, uh, let's just say, common sense and and um, and seeing you know how God would want us to move in that direction? Um, are they more or less in line with that? I'll, of course, there's always going to be a whole spectrum, but where are the people in general? Mm -hmm. And then the third part of this lens is what is the church? What is the church saying? What is the church not saying? Is it in line with God's will and ways and so forth? So you look at those three areas and you can know what the outcome is going to be for any nation. So Dave, what would be an example? Okay, for example, out of 2 Kings chapter 11, verse 17 is the key, the key verse there. But, okay, the nation of Israel, we're talking about the southern kingdom here, Judah, mm -hmm. but they were completely off track in all three areas if you okay. read earlier in that chapter. The, the leadership is off base, in fact, wicked. The, um, the people, uh, they're, they're following in this whole like fog mindset of what's going on in their nation. And then third, the church or the priesthood back then, it's just not in alignment. Well, this boy King Joash suddenly surfaces mm -hmm. and in a moment, the, the, we have a new government, we have a godly priest, Jehoiada, who helps Joash get to the throne. He's in line with God, meaning Jehoiada. Joash, the new king, even though he's just a boy, he's in line with God's will right. and ways. And then the people rise up and they actually make a covenant to God and the nation is changed and it's on this new trajectory. And mm -hmm. so that's how this can work. Okay. What would be an example on the opposite end of the spectrum? Well, um, several generations later, same nation, uh, we have got uh, the Babylonians surrounding Jerusalem. Now the southern kingdom, Judah, it is under the judgment of God. And God has been sending prophet after prophet for um, decades and, and generations to help turn the people back. The people are resisting. The government's resisting. Everybody's resisting. Even the church isn't in the line with God. And what happens is we look in that uh, chapter, again, this is Jeremiah chapter 52. Mm -hmm. It says that um, the house of God is destroyed. It says that the house of the king is destroyed. So there's your government. So you have the, the equivalent of the church, the equivalent of government. And then it says the people's houses were destroyed. And it's like God is showing us that in that final destruction, these are the very three areas that you see. And even later in the chapter, it's punctuated again. Now the Babylonians have uh, invaded Jerusalem and the walls have been crushed and, and all this is going on. And they take a representative group out of the priesthood mm -hmm. out of, or the church, out of the uh, uh, king's leadership or the government and just the people and these people are actually struck down. And it's like God punctuates again uh, that these are the very three areas that we need to be in tune with. And I think of even in Forerunners, mm -hmm. we need to discern the hour in our nation. This is how we do it. Awesome. So the ways to evaluate if our nation is following this is uh, one by how on fire the church is about it. Yeah, walking with, with faith with Christ and is full on for Christ, yep. And how our nation, uh, the laws that they're coming out with, if it's following. Right, government is huge. You know, even if it's not Christians, are they doing laws that uh, line up with general basic morality? And lastly, how the population is responding to it. Exactly. Awesome. Well, I think uh, we'll uh, touch back on this uh, subject uh, on our next insights. Yeah, we need to talk about our nation specifically in the next one. So we'll see you next week on Insights. <laughs>